There is another new MacBook Air 2023 model coming and it looks like it's going to be 70% faster with M3 inside over the first Apple Silicon M1 chipset that we got less than three years ago. Today I want to cover what the new MacBook Air M3 will do for us with giving you everything on the specs and the latest on the MacBook Air 2023 release date and price. But let's get started where we are with the MacBook Air. So within the last two years we've had a brand new design 13 inch MacBook Air and just this year at WWDC 2023 we got introduced to the larger brother MacBook Air with a 15 inch display. Both these MacBooks have big changes with a new design, a new colour, MagSafe 3 and of course the M2 chipset what's well, got around about 20-30% more power than the current M1 chipset. Both MacBook Airs are the only MacBooks to have no fan inside to give you a complete silent experience. But later on this year in 2023, even bigger changes are expected for the 13 inch MacBook Air. So what I would say right now, it doesn't look like any of these changes that you're going to see in this video are going to be coming to the 15 inch MacBook Air as it's still so new. So this is just for the 13 inch model. We've had reports recently like from Ming-Chi Kuo telling us that the M3 chipset is coming at the fall of 2023 and the MacBook Air will be one of the debut devices to have this chipset inside. We've also had other reports telling us that Apple also have booked up most of the slots from TSMC who make Apple's chipsets with the M3 having a 3 nanometer die. The 3 nanometer die is very important as it means that the M3 transistors can be made even smaller and on top of this this would mean efficiency in speed and also power consumption before even Apple decide to add more cores or crank up the speed on those cores. With the M2 chipset being about 20 to 30 percent faster than the M1, the M3 could be around about 70 percent faster than what we got with the M1 with these improvements and it would be a worthy upgrade for anyone who's got an M1 MacBook Air or say the M1 MacBook Pro. This also leads me on nicely to say that not all reports and leaks are 100% proof that they could come true with the next generation of the MacBook Air. I can only present to you what I've been told and shown. However, if you are still watching this video, then you just curious I am in knowing what is being said about the next MacBook Air anyway. So, release date. By fall or autumn of 2023, the MacBook Air M2 will be coming near to 18 months old. When the M2 MacBook Air came out, the M1 MacBook Air had been out for about 18 months. It seems likely that Apple are going to be doing the same again and starting the M3 journey at the end of 2023. As I've said before, Minchi Ko believes that Apple want to release the M3 chipset in new devices before the end of the year. It makes sense for Apple to do an event in around October or November time of 2023 to release chipsets in the MacBook Air, the smaller MacBook Pro and even the iMac. The event is most likely going to happen anywhere between mid-October to early November as Apple want to have their iPhone event first in September time and have all their iPhones and other products out before another event. However, as we get closer to the end of summer, a more clearer picture of when the M3 chipset will be coming out with the MacBook Air 2. So then guys, just quickly, this channel recently got over half a million subscribers, what is absolutely amazing. And you can check out the video on my channel to see who won those prizes. But we're doing another giveaway now, and this giveaway is gonna be happening around a sort of mid-June time, some point after WWDC. And at this giveaway this time, guys, I'm gonna be giving away three prizes. The first two prizes are runner-up prizes, and that are some AirPods 2, and also I'm gonna be giving away some AirPods free as well, what's absolutely amazing. Then the main prize that I'm gonna be giving away to one lucky subscriber is one of these. It is an iPhone 13 Pro Max in the silver white color. And I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. And all you need to do to enter in is basically put your opinion in the comment below of the report of this video or tell me what Apple technology gear you're planning to buy or hopeful to get in 2023. 
As I already said guys, the giveaway is happening in June time, so if you're brand new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get that notification of when that giveaway is happening in June time. So make sure you do that right now. Now, something else I just want to quickly say, there are lots of imposters out there, a lot of them faking to be me, telling you that you've won yourself like an iPhone or another prize. And basically, these people are telling you to part with some of your money to pay for shipping. This is not me at all. If you get a WhatsApp or Telegram or being told to send one of these messages, make sure you do not do it. This giveaway that I am doing is an international giveaway and I'll be paying for the postage, taxes and all of that. So if you do get a message to say that you've won an iPhone, for example, example and basically you need to pay for the shipping please do report it here on YouTube all you have to do is click on the comments and basically click report and YouTube will do the rest just make sure you do not part with any of your money to these scammers out there so to summarize again all you need to do is comment on as many videos that I create out there to enter in and also at the same time make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell to be in the chance to win one of these free prizes and with that guys it's back to the video but let's move on and do a summary of what the 2023 MacBook Air is going to give us and its price as well. So the MacBook Air M3 will have the normal 13.6 LED Retina display and this will come in at a resolution of 2560 by 1600. Again, we'll have the offerings of storage of 256 gigabytes all the way up to two terabyte option if you wanted to pick that. The brand new M3 chipset is most likely going to be coming this time round with that 10 core CPU and also a 12 core GPU. But most importantly is going to be that 3 nanometer die that's going to make everything more efficient and a bit more powerful too. We will probably still have the option between 8 gigabytes and up to 24 gigabytes of RAM. And then the actual body itself itself will be very similar in design it'll be an aluminum body or an aluminium body and then obviously we'll get MagSafe 3 the two USB-C Thunderbolt ports as well nothing really is going to change here and the same with colors too we're going to get midnight space gray silver and that starlight the center stage camera is still going to be housed inside that notch and it'll be a 1080p camera and battery life will be up to 19 hours this time round mainly because of the efficiency in that M3 chipset and the prices they're likely to stay around about the same so with an 8 gigabytes of ram 256 storage that will cost you about 1199 us dollars but that will probably be a binned version of the m3 chipset then 512 gigabytes is 1399 one terabyte 1999 and then two terabytes will be 1999 us dollars so that is a summary of the new macbook air m3 but my wishes for the macbook air i want to talk about those now and that is to do with thermals so as much as apple have made the macbook air to have no fan inside of it and we had this with the m1 and the m2 something tells me that with the m3 the chipset is going to get even hotter than those two previous chipsets so for this i would actually like to see a return of the fan back inside the macbook air and for it to only kick in when it really needs to so say when you're exporting a 30 minute 4k video then three or four minutes into that export the fan would kick in just to help with any kind of throttling issues however those are my thoughts and do you agree with them do you think that the macbook air should remain fanless also share with me what your thoughts are for the m3 macbook air 2 well guys it's also time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please make sure that you press the like button at the same time if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons please make sure you hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell until next time guys i will see you soon bye bye